Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavind Mishra and in this video we will resolve java.lang.no such field error while executing our test ng class, test ng test case, okay, in Eclipse. So as in when you get this error, first of all you have to see uh, the version of test ng which you have used in your project. So it has detected uh, 7.10.2, right? which you can see in the console so this is the dependency which you have added to your project okay rest assured demo project has 7.10.2 version of test ng jar okay so as in when you add this dependency this jar will get added to your project and build path so you can see the test ng version okay so when you get this uh, no such field error what you have to do you have to I mean, let me run it so that you can see we are getting this error okay so as in when you see this error first what you have to do you have to you have already checked the version of test ng which you have added in your project in pom.xml now you have to uh, make it identical okay so you have to go to eclipse id about from here also you can check i believe install installation detail and uh, you just search for test ng okay so you see the version uh, 7.9.0 is installed okay so what you have to do you have to just click on this and update okay click on update or you can also go to install new software and you can see this link already installed where you can see this is this will redirect you to the same uh, window wherein you can search for test ng and just upgrade the version just click on upgrade okay or whatever version you have used in your pom.xml just to make sure that uh, i mean it gets changed to 7.9 or you can update it to match to the latest okay so if I have to just select test ng and uh, I will click on update. I have already clicked on update and you can see something is going on here in the bottom of this ID. Okay. So once it is ready, it will the version will be upgraded to 7.10 or whatever is the latest. Okay. See, it has uh, detected that test ng version 7.10.0.2 is available. So I will just select and click on next and I will accept the license agreement and click on finish. Okay. So now it will start downloading that version. Okay. Uploading the software. So once uh, it is downloaded or updated, it will ask you to restart the eclipse id to apply the software update okay so i'll click on restart now and you can see my eclipse is being restarted now since eclipse has restarted let me check the test ng version by going to the same install new software or I will just search for test ng version again okay so it has upgraded to 7.10 okay so which is as same as you can also if you want I mean uh, this is optional you can uh, upgrade it to 7. Dot again by clicking on update okay so let us run the <coughs> program again So I will run the <coughs> test ng class and see that error is gone now and we are able to run the test ng class. Okay. So this was simple rest assured uh, program. Okay. 
just to demonstrate and which I have written using a test ng okay here so I have used on the at the rate test annotation earlier it was giving me that uh, field error no such field error which is gone by after we resolve and uh, upgraded the test ng version in the eclipse id okay so that's it from this video and i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section thank you for watching and uh, keep learning